Hello, the gentleman gamer here, and today I'm playing Eve Online, and I'm doing uh, well, looking for Frostline um, sites that dropped um, in the Frostline, uh, I guess patch or release you want to call it. Uh, but I've been having issues uh, finding them in high sec. Uh, they're very, very contested in high sec. Um, so I'm, I'm taking a tip, or more of a what a uh, what I've seen uh, Johnny Pugh and Dagarn do, try to find these uh, by jumping into wormhole space or the unknown, as this uh, message is trying to tell us here. Um, so I, I scan this one down, and I'm going to see if I can find any of, this, of the Operation Frost line sites. Uh, yes, there is one here. Let's check D-Scan real quick. Alright, these scans are clean. So let's this warp. Let's get it done. I'm in an, an Arbitrator, I think it's called. It's the uh, Mar Electronic Warfare Cruiser uh, slash Drone Cruiser. Um, I think uh, Dagarn and Johnny Pew used uh, Vexors, which I, I think Vexors are cool, but I do like the weapon disruption uh, bonus. Uh, these get now. Of course, this only helped me if um, whatever if someone does plan on dropping on me here. Um, it only helps me if uh, they're using a turreted ship. Because if they don't, then the, these two modules are completely useless. But I landed on the site here, and let's see. The first, I think, the f first three waves in this uh, initial room are pretty easy to kill frigates. So let's take out the light drones. See if we can split them up and take them all out. Alrighty, we'll just take one each here, one over there, one over there, just spread them all out because it's actually not too hard. Let's get moving to the acceleration gate here. Put the damage control on too, keep an eye on D-scan. Alright. Alright, so they go down pretty quick, they're not like actually very, very hard. Alrighty, D-scan again. Still clean. Of course, that doesn't mean that no one's here. They could be cloaked for all I know. There's no local in uh, W space, so there could be 20 people in here. <laughs> I just don't know. Um, I do. I do have some evidence to think that this wormhole isn't uh, very active right now. As you can see down here in the probe scan window here, uh, all these sites are just not run at all. Um, even though I do see, if you switch overview real quick and descan, there is. A tower. I'm not seeing a force field though. Maybe they're offline. Uh, but let's go back here. Second wave is down. Cool. Uh, the, the, these first three waves aren't actually very hard. The, uh, the next room you will we'll get, I think, three waves of cruisers. And they're not hard. And they don't like hard to beat or anything. But they do take quite a bit of time to actually just grind through their HP. Um, which is interesting, especially if you're doing these in a wormhole, because that gives people time to uh, to jump on you. Alrighty, almost down here. Make sure, make sure I don't forget my drones. I do have a habit of doing that. Alrighty, okay. Let's put the drones back in. Another quick D scan. Nothing good. All right, let's go through the next room. Come on, drones. <laughs> there we go. All right, come on. So this can is still clean, which is good. All right, now here's with the cruisers now. Again, they're not very tough, but it just takes time to get through their tank. Uh, of course, if you're using something like a Gila, uh, I think the Lone Wolf used uh, used a Gila in the last video I saw. Um, that has a lot more DPS, but then you'd be risking a a, a, a lot more isk <laughs> out here in the wormhole space if I did that. Uh, let's pull out the medium, uh, medium hop, uh, hog and heimer heads. I think the serpentus are weak to kinetic and thermal. Yeah, so if you if I brought out like a, my gila out here, it would probably burn through these sites quicker. But I'm really not, um, I'm not keen in uh, put, risking that much isk <laughs> for these sites. I right, that this and get uh, some uh, one of the energy vampires on one of these guys. Doesn't give me a whole lot of cap, but uh, I think every little bit helps. Alrighty. Now the actual the the actual lore rationale for these sites are actually pretty interesting. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, the Mortos Legion 
uh, retook, uh, I think, all the ore stations from the Serpentis and uh, gave them uh, back to um, the old CEO, I guess, CEO or, I'm assuming CEO, uh, the, the owner um, of Ore Corporation. And then he uh, became a partner in the Upswell Consortium. And these, uh, this, this um, uh, consortium is the ones that we're going to bring uh, the uh, Citadels uh, to a new Eden. And uh, in part of that lore arc, um, Murder's Legion, uh, with the authorization of Concord, um, allowed the, like, the coordinates of these um, uh, Serpentis bases to be known to all Capsuleers. And hence, we can go in and, you know, wreck stuff and take all their things, <laughs> which is always fun. And I think I've gotten some pretty cool stuff. What I, what I get the most is um, Quaife Zero in like a male and female t-shirt. Uh, the last site I ran, I also got a um, uh, one of those metal arms uh, for uh, the female characters. Uh, it looked really, really cool. I don't have a female character, though, but it is pretty cool. I'm not sure how rare it is. I need to check uh, what the value is. Um, I'm assuming not too much. Um, I don't think that's a very rare drop. Some people have said you get Plex. Um, I'm not sure if that's true or not. I think most of what I heard is rumors. Um but I haven't seen any pictures yet, so until I do, I guess I really can't believe it. But if I take a, find a Plex in one of these sites, I'd be very happy. D scan is still clean, which is nice. I also think uh, not only in Wormhole Space, um, not only in Wormhole Space, you find more of these sites. I think it's a bit more exciting <laughs> than in a high sec, because the chance of dying is ever present. So it does make it more fun. I do like the aesthetic of W Space more as well. It's, Probably my f most most famous um, my most um, what's the words I'm looking for? <laughs> Probably the most uh, uh, the most interesting space in the game, I think. All right, uh, I think it's the second wave, and just pretty much just grinding through these edge points are the are the the most annoying part. Okay, so these guys are clean. These sites are apparently no one's running them. So I'm assuming it's not active. Doesn't mean I'm not the only person in here, though. So I do have to be careful. Uh, let's move back. Let's approach that guy. Turn this off. I'm wasting tons of cap. Alrighty. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Take a look at the damage effects I'm causing here. Yep, some scattered damage over there. Oh, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> we'll take a look from the beginning. Maybe we'll see how much damage uh, my drones are causing here. Let's just focus fire on that guy, put the vampire on that guy, and let's take a look. D-scan. And you see all oh, the cool new effects. That's so cool looking. <laughs> uh, and the drones just got like a little scattering of damage all over. Even the armor, of course, really cool. I think these new damage effects are pretty awesome. Oop, turn the Ripper back on. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to my own damage, apparently. Let's look at the ship here. Yeah, I got some damage on myself, too. Let's get back into range here. Uh, let's go back up. Uh, D-scan again. Still still clean. Very good. Now this should be the last wave. And after this, there will be a, a battle cruiser spawn, which we'll have to take out uh, to get the goodies. And obviously these are modeled after the uh, the Blood Raider uh, gauntlets that had a, a month or two ago. But they did change them now. Um, like, if I remember in uh, the Blood Raider gauntlet, you had to... Uh, when you killed the battle cruiser, the loot was automatically put into your uh, your hold, which is kind of a weird mechanic, I think. But this time, what they did when you destroy the battle cruiser, it just drops a can, and uh, you have to go there physically go to the can and pick it up. So I'm thinking they did that um, just to make it a bit more um, uh, more conflict driven. That not only do you have to kill the battle cruiser, but you also have to pick up the can. So, oop, let me turn this off. We're ripped up. And so even even in high sec, you know, people can steal from the can, or, or whatever, you know, and try to run away. <laughs> so <laughs> it'd be really really fun. And of course, these have been a great source of conflict because people do risk some shiny ships trying to get the loot here. And here is the battle cruiser. Let's uh, put the vampire on him, get the drones, and hopefully he drops some decent stuff. Let's take a look at him. Of course, the Brudix is a pretty cool looking ship. 
I always liked it anyway. I never actually used it very often, but I did enjoy it. Wait, the aesthetic of it anyway. Come good damage. Let's approach him. He's gonna go up in flames, and he's gone. Very nice. Oh, anathema on D scan. Let's pick up the loot real quick. Pull the drones in. Quicker, quick. Come on, come on. Uh, no, nope, regular stuff. All right, let's uh, go to the safe spot real quick. Now I don't think that anathema was actually uh. Um, looking for these sites because I don't think an athlete's going to really run them, but it doesn't mean he's by himself, so we should bug out. So what we'll do now, is we'll head back to the wormhole and I'll show you uh, the one different piece of loot I got. Now I ran about, was it four, like three, maybe two, I think two, two in high tech, they're really hard to find, but I actually ran three when I, and uh, a few different wormholes I've been in. Um, and the only bit of loot different I got was the metal arm, which I want to show. So let's uh, check these scan again. Oh, Astradios. <laughs> yeah, it's time to bug out. <laughs> uh, let's see, wormhole. All right, let's get out of here. I definitely can't take uh, Astradios on by myself. All right, not on this ship anyway. All right, good. <laughs> Oh, should we get out here just in time? Okay, let it land. Deck and D scan. Alrighty. Okay, come on, get me out of here. I want out. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, very cool. Let's head to the station real quick. Now I think, now I think the uh, uh, the the main uh, I think the standard stuff you'll get are these two shirts, uh, which is the male Serpenta shirt, which looks pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use it. I'm a big fan of the overcoats and stuff like that on my character, so I'm not sure what I'll do with it. They're definitely worthless, <laughs> um, but they're, they're pretty cool looking. I might change my mind sometime in the future, so I'll keep it around. And the other thing you get a lot of is the female version of the shirt. Which is cool, but I don't have any female characters, so I guess, I guess I'll just keep it in my my cargo, I guess. My, um, whatever, hold. And the other thing is this Quave Zero, which I believe at some time was actually very expensive. But since so many are dropping for this, um, for this event, I think the price is going to crash pretty, pretty low. Alright. This is what I got last time. Let's see here. You see lots of male and female shirts. Uh... Or Quave Zero over here. And I got this one as well. Uh, it's type of cybernetic arm. Uh, but I'm not sure how rare it is. I went for the, pr I looked for the price here, but I don't think the market's very well stocked in this area. Yeah, I didn't find anything at all, so. But that's what I got so far. But uh, this is very fun to do. I'm actually really enjoying um, going into W space with a, a cruiser, which I really don't care about losing. And uh, having the, um, you know, the, uh, the chance of me dying by finding some decent loot, so I definitely I think you guys should try it too. It's pretty fun, as long as you don't don't mind the the possibility of losing a ship. You now the cruiser probably cost me about what? Um, let's see, twenty mil, maybe twenty five mil, maybe thirty mil. I think um, this is my fit. If you're interested at all here, um, this is an, a drone ship, so I have. Uh, a bunch of hobgoblins and uh, acolyte twos and hammerheads, um, and then my, my primary DPS. I use the hammerheads because uh, the serpentis I think are weak against thermal. Um, but the top I have a cloak because sometimes uh, if if I'm getting uh, chased, I'll try to jump into a safe and cloak up before they can scan me down. I also have uh, a core probe launcher too, just for finding other wormholes. Uh, energy vampire. Um, a compact energy neutralizer, afterburner, scram. I got two tracking disruptors. Of course, again, this only helps if the um, whatever ship is uh, following you has turrets as their main TPS. Um, if that Stratios um, actually came into the site and tried to kill me, uh, it, it may it may have some lasers on it, but its main DPS would have been drones. So these would have been very useful. Um, so in the, the lows too, I have dam uh, two drone damage amps, a medium armor repair, 
damage control 2, and it uh, energized adaptive nano membrane, uh, two trimarks in the, the rigs, and a overclocking processor just for um, CPU fitting. So that is my fit, guys. Um, if you've done uh, the same thing as well in different ships, let me know what your fit is and how, how it's been going, and if you died horribly. <laughs> Uh, but uh, these sites are very fun. I th I'm not sure how long this uh, actual um, uh, the site, the uh, not the site, uh, the event will last. I'm assuming to um, till after Christmas, I assume. Uh, but probably look it up so you're not you don't uh, I don't miss it because some of this stuff can be pretty cool. Um, even if you don't find uh, uh, any plex, which I'm not sure it actually drops or not. But the of this clo clothing is pretty interesting. And metal arms are always cool to have. Uh, I think my character has one too. I think I do anyway. Um, but I think I have him under an overcoat. <laughs> you really can't see it. Um, but uh, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, of course, leave a like. If you like the content, of course, subscribe. And fly safe. And fly brave.